Okay, welcome back to effectsapps.com. So today we're going to be talking about how you can add a progressive loyalty card to your app. We're first going to start by going to effectsapps.com and logging in. Then we're going to edit our app and we always start by hitting this little blue pencil. This will now let us into the back office of our app and allow us to edit our features. So let's go ahead and click on features. Here it goes, the progressive loyalty card, or you can search it out by typing in loyalty and it'll come up. So let's go ahead and add the progressive loyalty card to our app. So the reason why this is called the progressive loyalty card, because the rewards get progressively better as your clients get stamps on their loyalty card. So in order to create the loyalty card, we're first going to start by adding a loyalty card. So let's go ahead and hit the plus button here. Now, the first information we're going to add here in the card name will not be visible on the front end to the client. This is only for internal use. So you'll be able to see this and not the client. So we're going to name this the loyalty card. Now, for this example, in this tutorial, we're going to make a card that reaps a reward after you receive five points and reaps another reward when you get up to 15 points. So for instance, if you wanted to create a card that had 800 points and for every dollar someone spends, they get a point. Whenever they spend $20 with you, they get 20 points. You could also make it so that when they get 200 points, they get 50% off a haircut. When they get 500 points, they get 75% uh, off a haircut and when they get 800 points they get a free haircut if your max number is going to be 800 then you would make this 800 but for this example we're going to use 5 and 15 so the number here is going to be 15 and for every haircut they get one point and we can make it so that once they've received their reward they are not allowed to get another one and that's where you would click here use only once also if you want to make terms and conditions a good term and condition to add here is to say you will only receive a loyalty point if you have scheduled your appointment through the app. This way, if it's someone's first time downloading the app and they're already in your location, you can make it so that you can pull up these terms and agreements and say, hey, you have to have already booked an appointment with us. This is only for people who book appointments. And you can not put that there and put any terms and conditions that you like. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hit OK. OK, and there you go. So now we have our loyalty card is created over here. So as you can see here, we have a few more steps to do. So let's move on to the next one, the rewards. So we're now going to add a reward to our loyalty card. So now once we've reached our reward section, we're going to add our first reward by hitting the plus button over here. So the reward name, what we're creating is a loyalty card that says when you get five points, you get 50% off your haircut. When you get 15 points, you get a free haircut. So our first reward is going to be called 50% off your haircut. And the number of points you need in order to redeem this is five now this next section under the no number of points you need to redeem is called the expiry in days this is great because it makes it so that if someone were to get five points they're now going to have access to a coupon that gives them 50 percent off their haircut but if they don't decide to use it in that moment they can decide to use it at a later date but you can also make that coupon expire at a particular time 
so they don't have forever in which to use their 50% off coupon. So you can make it, for instance, if someone comes in to get a haircut every two weeks, you can make the expiry day on 14 days. Now, if you want to give a client more time, you can say 30 days or even 365 days if you want to give them a whole year to take advantage of that coupon. And then finally, reward description. Normally here, I'll say something like get 50% off your haircut and that's it. So I'm now going to go ahead and hit save and save that reward to the loyalty card. Then I'm going to add my next reward. So again, this is the progressive loyalty card. So once I hit five points, I get 50% off. But when I hit 15 points, which I'm going to put that number here, 15, that's when I get my free haircut. So I'm going to title this a free haircut. I'm also going to make this expire in 14 days. And then my reward description, I'm going to say get get a stamp for every haircut there you go and that's just a disclaimer how they can get to that free haircut so let me go ahead and add that reward as well so now what I want you to notice is at the bottom over here on the right with our iPhone you'll see the coupons now I'm not seeing the coupons down here right it says click here to log in stamp coupons terms and condition the reason why we're not seeing the coupon is because the coupon has not been enabled okay the reason why the coupon has not been enabled is because right here this little check mark it says enable reward if I see the check mark that means I have to check it off for it to be enabled now let me show you the difference so I've just activated the free haircut Let me go ahead and refresh. So as I talked about before with the other features, sometimes you make changes and they don't immediately happen. So you want to click on applications and then back to features. That'll do kind of a full refresh of your page. So once I come back, I'm going to go ahead and click on loyalty cards so that I can open that feature back up again and continue to make edits to it so let's go ahead and click on progressive loyalty card now when I scroll down to the bottom you'll see the free haircut reward is actually there so let me click on rewards and you'll see the difference so here is the difference this one is saying it has a power button that power button is if I click it it'll turn off this free haircut but if I enable this one, I'll have both rewards. I wanted to describe that to you because if you add a reward, it doesn't automatically add itself. You have to come back here and check off enable so that it will be in the app and available for use. So here we are. We have two rewards. We have our free haircut, our 50% off reward. Now let's talk about how you would actually validate that with the customer so I'm gonna go ahead and go to validation so this is where you can include your barbers names or even just yourself to be able to stamp your customers loyalty card this is extremely important so let's go ahead and try to use the loyalty card and we can do it right here in the preview if I try to get a stamp on my loyalty card, it's going to ask me to create an account. I'm going to go ahead and do that because this previewer over here is fully functional. So I'm going to make an account for John Doe. I'm going to go ahead and make a phony email and password and I'm going to accept so this is what the customer will be experiencing when they get to their loyalty card it'll ask them they'll try to get a stamp and will not be able to unless they create an account 
so then they'll go ahead and click send now they have an account with you so they'll go back to their loyalty card and now they can actually receive a stamp so now it's asking me for a pin number so this is where the client would then hand you the phone and you will type in your four digit pin so you say how do I get my pin number well that is where the validation comes in at you will need to come to effectsapps.com and come to your loyalty card and then come to validation let's go ahead and add an employee so we'll just name this employee barber you can give every employee an employee pin code or you can just make one for everyone I suggest that you use the last four digits of the barbershop and so in this case I'm gonna make the validation one two three four for this example I'm then gonna hit OK so now that has been added the other thing you can do is as you can see here is saying scan QR code when I click on scan QR code it's gonna bring up the camera of the customers phone right here is where you can click if I just click right here it'll actually download the image if you were to take this image and put it on your phone or print it out and put it on the mirror of your shop or leave it at your front desk the customer would be able to come to you with their phone with your app downloaded in it create their account with your loyalty card and then when they go to get a stamp they will go to their loyalty card and say hey I need a stamp click this click on scan QR code and scan this QR code and it would give them it will validate points for them and they would get points but if you don't use the scan a QR code you can simply stamp their loyalty card by typing in a four digit pin one two three four is the pin and that person now has point successfully validated they now have one stamp once they get up to 15 stamps I'll show you what it looks like so in order to get so in order to get 50 percent off their haircut here's what happens they see the reward but the redeem button when you click on it doesn't actually work they need up to five stamps to be able to do that so let's go ahead and hit five and if you're ever in a keep this in mind as well if you're ever in a position where you need to give more stamps for whatever reason someone got a haircut and you remember that they got a haircut but they didn't get a stamp and now they want two stamps for their last haircut and their new haircut you can simply click right here in the upper right hand corner and give more points I'm gonna give this person five more points they have one to have five more which will be six which will activate their 50% off coupon so one two three four is my pin and they have now received the rest of their points points successfully validated I'm gonna go ahead and hit OK well now that I have more than five stamps if I come down here you'll see this free haircut I don't have enough to redeem this one so it's grayed out but as you can see our 50% off coupon is now highlighted when I click on it my redeem button is no longer circular and grayed out it's now squared it also says 30 days that this is only valid for 30 days so what the customer would do at this point is say okay I have 50% off my haircut cost $30 I want to get 50% off my haircut they would then show you their phone you would look at redeem and you would now redeem that coupon you would say use coupon you will first click redeem and then say use coupon then you would have to validate it by typing in your pin again and charge them 50 percent less in that moment and now they've used their coupon and it's now gone so they can now keep going all the way up to their free haircut which is currently grayed out until they get enough points to be able to activate it now the last thing I want to show you is the design 
So as you see here, our loyalty cards have little presents. We can actually customize this to keep our branding across the platform. So let's go ahead and click on options. In options, this is another, a couple other things you can do here. You can say validate one point only at a time. So how I did earlier when I added five points at a time, if you have trouble with employees giving away too many points at a time, you can come back here and say you're only allowed to give one at a time. Now, where it says here default inactive reward image, that's the image that they're going to have when the snap is just sitting there idle. And then this is what it looks like when the reward has been stamped. So this is this is what it looks like when it's inactive. This is what it looks like when it's active. So what we can do is we can actually upload our logo of our barbershop. So now that our logo is uploaded, we can crop it. So we can crop it and leave a lot of room around the sides, which means it'll be really small as we look at it. Then the default reward will be the logo, the same logo, which you can do one in black, one in white. You can do an image of scissors. And then once they get the haircut, it's an image of a mustache. You can really play around with this. But I'm going to make this so that the logo was small at first. And then when they get a reward, it will be bigger. It'll be all the way zoomed into the logo right there. So this is what it looks like when it's inactive. It'll be kind of small and then it'll zoom in. And I'm going to go ahead and save that. This way, our branding is across the entire platform. I also I also like to change the name from progressive loyalty card to loyalty card and the icon I like to use is this debit card looking icon. Now in order there it goes as you can see on the right hand side. This is what it looks like when I need more points and this is what it looks like when I have a point. So if I want more points I would say please give me another stamp one two three, four, the barber would type that in and I would get another stamp. And that's how you create a progressive loyalty card, or as we like to call it, the loyalty card. Let's go ahead and hit save and we're done.